This episode of Super Mario Odyssey is for your entertainment. It's made possible by the amazing support of viewers just like you. Thank you. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be going to the Lake Kingdom here in Super Mario Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch. My name is Brian Saviano. You already know. Let's go. Uh, this is technically the next kingdom in the order of the kingdoms here. Um, it doesn't matter which one you go to first. It's all a matter of preference. Um, I looked up an official guide. It does say that this one does come first. Um, the Wood Kingdom is pretty big. Uh, the Lake Kingdom is pretty small. So it makes sense that you go from like a bigger kingdom to a smaller one, then a big one, not two massive kingdoms in a row. So that makes a bit of sense there. Again, we have 31 moons. We're going to go through the uh, Lake Kingdom, hopefully in one go, get as many moons, obviously, as we can, then go off to the Wooded Kingdom. There really was sand in every imaginable place there. I think I've still got some in my mouth. It all feels crunchy. Where is his mouth? I don't know. Seeing as how we got some time to kill, yes, there's obviously a hint that, or not a hint, but a um, uh, a thing that yeah, Cappy will tell you. Um, this game is easier to control with the Joy-Con uh, in terms of, like, you know, flicking your wrist to um, toss Cappy in certain ways. You can toss Cappy up or to the sides or down. Um, we don't have as much of that uh, uh, ability because, like, I'm flinging both of my arms. And I, I kind of just don't want to do that. So here we are in the Lake Kingdom. Brutal's over the lake. So there's also another pro tip that I'll show you uh, of me being a Mario Odyssey pro. So, uh, the Brutals are here too, oh boy. So, uh, what you can do, actually, yes, we can do it, okay. So, you can go into this guy, this, well, this thing right here. Take a look at, uh, zoom in, and then, uh, look around using the right stick there. Oh, there are the Brutals! There they go. We can back out of here, no problem, or, actually, yeah, there we go. You can get over there. What you're supposed to do is go all the way underneath, and there's a whole thing we'll go through in a second. But you can get up there without actually having to do all that. So here we go, we're gonna ground, we're gonna just do the tricks, okay? So here we go, we go right here, right? Okay, so ground pound, jump up, there we go, this way, jump over there, and boom, there you go. So that's how you do that. You can jump all the way over there, and even Cappy is like, that was a great jump. So that does happen. Um, no special moon or anything over here. Uh, we are not gonna go over here just yet. But the thing is, you can do it. It is possible, so. There are lots of ways to maneuver Mario. Uh, this is going to be a, um, a specific challenge under here. Um, pro tip for you as well. Um, when you're on the, um, the bottom of this area, like the more that you tap B, the more that you're going to go up, you won't actually go forward and swim faster. So it's a bit different uh, control-wise compared to uh, Mario Sunshine or Mario 64. So keep that in mind as well. Um, I don't think there's any crazy special moons around here. Hi, you. If you're looking for the water plaza, the way in is right behind me. Okay. Is there anything over there? Um, we'll dive over here. Just, uh, do this thing here. These things are the cosmic cubes. What an odd stone. Oh, yeah? Uh, I wonder what they're all about. I have no idea. It must involve something involving the plot. Who knows? Stone is certainly, certainly peculiar, but doesn't seem to do anything. Might as well check back in on it later, right? Get some coins there. Uh, zipper, hi. So you become a zipper in Super Mario Odyssey as well. Just, uh, just a fun thing there. You know, why not become a zipper? You can be whatever you want to be. You can be a doctor. You can be a dentist. You could be a, um, a video game player on the internet. And, uh, he chose to be a, um... A zipper. So you know what? Good for him. It's all good here. I want to make sure I'm not too close to my microphone. Because then that makes for poor audio. Don't want that to happen. So. Now there is a secret-ish. Secret kind of moon around. Nope. That's the way you're supposed to go. You go to the opposite of the way. Wait, what? Oh, go opposite the way you're supposed to go. So the way that you go forward. is not like if you keep tapping B. That's the way that you go, right? So we toss the cap there. There we go. Uh, treasure in the spiky waterway. So if you press ZL, our good friend ZL and Y, you'll go forward. So you'll kind of do this ground pound thing, but if you press Y in enough time, you'll actually go forward. These guys you can't control. So just uh, zoom out of their way real quick here. You don't want to bother with these guys. 
Just get him out of here. There we go. Give me that heart. Thank you. There's a little bit of a vignette around the sides, too. It's a little bit uh, darker. That uh, makes for a good effect. And oh, you could be a blooper. So all these times you were facing off against Blooper and Koopa and, you know, all these other characters. And now, now you become one with them. Here's another mystical moon under here. We have to get nine moons? No, three, six, seven. No, that's a lie. Six plus two, Brian, is eight. Eight moons. I am just the worst. I am just really not great. So, as you can see, this is a smaller kingdom. There are only 50 coins for us to collect. We are making good progress on that. And hello, Loch Ness buddy. You got a moon for me. Dory back rider. Uh, same type of creature from Super Mario 64 in that cavern that um, allows us to get one of the uh, power stars I've, in Hazy Maze Cave, I think. That's the name of the level. Uh, not a fan of that level because it's just... Uh, very dark and spooky. And as a kid, I did not play as many of those levels because I don't like the dark and spooky levels. I like the colorful, fun levels, you know. That's more so uh, my forte there. So we have um, three of these mini moons around here. Uh, I'm going to want to get back uh, to controlling a blooper in a second here. I think all five of them are out here. Um, there, there are none inside of the, the bubble we saw before. Uh, but there's one over here. Yeah, so none of them are inside of there. I think the last one's up here, right? Yep, yep, right up there. Cool, right on top of that fishbowl. Cool. So now we can dive down. There you go. There's all five. So that this is not a scripted moon, but, you know, you got enough of them. Obviously, you can breathe inside of here. Um, and everybody freaks out. You don't discriminate against you. That's not fun. But there you go. There's that one there. And there's a store inside of here. We'll grab this moon real quick. There we go. Moon shards in the lake. So now we just need three more. And if that's a brutal boss battle, that means we will probably end up uh, getting a, uh, a, a grand moon there. So here you go. He's a little parrot friend here. Uh, Talkatu will be the one to tell you secrets involved with the game. I feel underdressed. Um, so if we press minus, we go over. Um, yeah, checkpoint flag. We can teleport, like I said before. Go to the list. So these are all of the moons available in this kingdom as of right now that are attainable to you, I think, right now. So I feel underdressed. It doesn't show you the actual location, but it does show you that that is the name of the uh, the power moon there. So lots of coins up here, of course. Grab these while we're here, right? All right, so where do I want to go now? Is there anything? Nope, nothing over there. Um, there is one. Yep, you see a little doorway right inside of there. Let's go inside of here. Hello. Oh, you're just chilling. You chilling, girl. Ah, you found me. Very clever. You can have this as a reward. And that is... I thought it was going to be everlasting happiness, but it's a power moon. That's fine. Let's keep this place our little secret. I certainly will. My lips are sealed. I ain't no snitch. Because snitches get what, kids? Stitches. No, that's not necessarily true. But, you know. Um, no, they, yeah, kind of. Maybe. Whatever. That's a life lesson for another day. You can talk to your parents about that one. Anyways, let's move on. So that's a big, giant, deep bowl hole down there. We can't actually go do that ourselves because we will suffocate or rather drown because suffocating underwater, that's what drowning means. So let's grab our little cheap, cheap buddy. We're going to go all the way down there, maybe find ourselves some uh, some nice uh, uh, purple coins to grab ourselves uh, something. Uh, ah, good thinking. No air needed. Yeah, you can't actually make it down here. I've tried it where you can ground pound to go down even like quicker down this way. Not gonna happen. So, use a cheap cheap to go all the way down here. And oh, is that Captain Toad? Howdy, buddy. But before we go see Captain Toad, is there anything? I thought there was a special. No. Okay, I thought there was another power moon down here. But hey, buddy. Hey, hey your game's coming out soon on Switch. Mario, fancy meeting you here. Well, Toad kind of talks weird. That's right, it's me. That sounds awful. That sounds disgusting. Swimming with this backpack is tough. I don't even know how I made it down here. Because the thing with Captain Toad is his backpack keeps him grounded so he can't jump. So he must have got to the bottom of here by sinking, but he didn't die. But I discovered a power boon. You can have it. 
So you know what? I don't question Captain Toad anymore. He just kind of does whatever, you know? He he does him, and he's having fun out here. It's all quiet here. I wonder how I'll get home. There's a warp pipe right here, buddy. You just hop inside of that, and uh, you're good to go. All right. So you should see the beautiful shop on display. Well, let's go check out the shop. I don't know if I'll be able to get the uh, outfit for this area quite yet. Um, how do I grab this? Um, oh, we just shimmy all, all the way down here. Okay. So we just shimmy. And you can actually shake the controller like this to go even faster. See? So we're going faster. That's how you do that. All right. Grab that. Water plaza display window. So, uh, the lock lady dress is missing. Obviously, the wedding outfit, essential piece of attire for any wedding. Hello, ladies. Um, yes, I know we can use the two types of coins here. Um, ooh, 15 in order for us to get swim goggles and swimwear. I'm only missing two. That's a darn shame. Rubber dory, a uh, Link Kingdom sticker, water dome sticker thing, or water dome, whatever. Um, yeah, we don't have enough right now. Uh, I should have been able to find two, but I guess I didn't. So, I kind of want to go back and get that before I leave. So, that's where the dress should be. Oh, no. This is where the dress was displayed, eh? Yeah, that's that's it. So, now we can actually go all the way back up to the surface here. And kind of figure out, uh, you know, where exactly we need to go next. We can go back up to that area we were at before. Uh, that actually has some uh, smaller secrets to it as well. Uh, so, let's go over there real quick gather up these uh, a couple moons I think that are over here so um, oh geez actually I need you come here so that's a Goomba obviously take control of them that is a portal which we will go to in a second here so um, I'm actually gonna have you come over here you can jump with a Goomba that's like one of the first times I think you can actually do that there you go just stack them up stack them on up high there we go and there we go ooh there's another three over here. How about you just, can I jump on top of you? Can I just do the jumpies? Come on. Really? Really? I can't do that? Oh no, we just needed to go up here. Okay, cool. So now we can go back to the shop. How about that? Cool. Um, I don't think there's anything special over there, but this, this I will need. Let's go over here. And there's a little zipper again. That zipper's gonna be useful. Let's go. Just unzip that and boom, there we go. Ooh, and even more coins there. Uh, you can roll by um, crouching and then pressing Y. So Z, L, and Y are like the two two of the most important controls. Z, like both of them together, but also independently. Two very important controls for this entire game. That's where you're going to be doing most of your stuff in general. All right. So we kind of... Actually, no, we didn't go over to the portal here. So these paintings over here kind of Super Mario 64 style uh, you can go down here we'll float down here just a second here and so you can enter into the portal so there are uh, a bunch of different portals all throughout the entire game and they each go to the different worlds to the different kingdoms in Super Mario Odyssey so now this sombrero suit's gonna actually make sense because now we're going back to the Sand Kingdom so there are some portals that I know where they are um, some of them are kind of spoilers, so I'm not going to go for them. But we're going to activate this right here, Southwestern Floating Island. This technically counts as a moon for the uh, the Sand Kingdom. So we're actually going to toss Cappy, hold it right there to get all those coins. So that's cool there. Um, we'll do this again right here. So yeah, it looks really beautiful. All kind of not really lit up at night. There's some uh, lights going on over there. And uh, lights going on over there. There's the moon. So, we, and you can just go play the Sand Kingdom. You can just go there and, like, just do whatever, right? But we're not going to do that. We're actually going to go back. Um, it doesn't take away all the moons that you've done before already. Uh, they will maintain. Uh, they'll, they'll be intact, so you're good. Um, you don't need to save or anything. You know, you're good. So, I I think so, right? I've actually... Have I, I'm good. Yeah, okay, cool. I actually... The first time I played... I didn't do that the first time. I didn't even know it was there, but that was the first time I've done it on a new game. Because as you saw, when we went back to the Sand Kingdom, it didn't show the pink moons over there. It just showed the one green moon that we got for the Sand Kingdom. So that kind of happened. So keep that in mind. Uh, I kind of got scared there for a second, but clearly, yeah, don't get scared. You're good. So we'll activate this here. And I believe there will be a second moon that appears eventually here as well. But, uh, for right now, actually, it might be, um, 
Might be way over here. Uh, can I grab that? Oh, come on, really? Jeez. All right, well, if we go over here, there's another... Oh, it's just four uh, coins. Okay. So, can I restart this? Or I have to... Yeah, I have to go exit and come back. Okay, cool. Uh, that's obviously a power moon that I want to get because we're right here, you know? All right, so this whole puzzle will restart. I don't think I've actually messed that up before, so that's uh, pretty interesting there. Jump back onto here. Okay. And there we go. Boom. Cool. There's another pink power moon right there. Bada boom. Go. And that is taking notes in the cliffside. Now we have plenty of power moons. I don't think there's any uh, other power moon. Blah, blah, power moon right there for now. You become quite skilled at being flat. I wonder if I've been used to it for like 30 years. Go figure, right? All right, so let's go over here. I probably could have made that, but that's all right. Um, what I think you're supposed to do is go over like underneath and travel upward, but we're not going to do that. And I have a really bad sunburn from the 4th of July yesterday that I just poked when I scratched my back right there, and it's killing me. All right, long jump over here, Y, Z, L, and then Y again, Z, L. Okay, so clearly we can make the jumps and do the thing here. Is that a power moon? Yes, it is. Cool. So we'll go back over here, and it's going to fly way over there. Cool. So there's also some uh, coins for us there. Um, I probably should go and grab the, uh, the outfit before we leave here. That should be a thing. All right, we'll unzip this power moon. Maybe? Oh, coins. Okay, cool. So now, now we're finding plenty of them. Oh, geez. That, oh, there's a little bit of an indentation right there. That's why. All right, so um, we could use this flutter thing to go all the way to the other side there. And these Goombas are just being a pain. There we go. Long jump. Y, Z, L, Y. There we go. Cool. That's how you do that. Bada boom. What's in the box? That's what every unboxing guy and girl has ever said in their entire lives, ever. All right, so there's some more purple coins over here. Uh, what I'm going to do, we'll grab these. There's three more over there. Did I already grab them? Yeah, I already grabbed those. Um, we'll dive all the way down, and we're going to go all the way back up. I'm going to show you what exactly is in here. Oh, we got uh, easy access right there. So that's another thing about Mario Odyssey is that they don't, they make it super easy for you to maneuver all the way through these entire worlds. Like, you're not just stuck maneuvering, like, really slowly. So we're going to get these swim goggles here. We're also going to get the, um, the uh, Lake Lamode uh, kind of bumper sticker here while we're here. Actually, we'll get the, um, the Dory doll as well. Uh, so here we go. Um, rubber Dory. Cool. So the last one we don't have enough for, clearly. Um, once you get all of the purple coins, you'll be able to get that. Um, you will not get more than 50. There are only 50 in this area, and we're wearing a massive flotation device with goggles, and it looks really fitting for the weather right now. So let's go. He's got the flippers and everything. Uh, anything Mario wears is entirely cosmetic, does not affect the gameplay in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. So don't worry about that. Not too big of a deal, but you know you want to look swagger you want to look cool. That's how you do it So just dive over here do exactly what we did before Okay, and actually you want to press this P button right here That's gonna have that sink down below totally forgot to do that But that's what you're supposed to do if you do things the right way, which I don't always do clearly All right, so we'll just fly over here and there is one more section we can go to. I'm just going to clear these guys out real quick. Excuse me. Right through here. There we go. See you later. There's a little section right up there. Let's go up there real quick. I know, I know I'm being like, oh, let's get every single moon. But like, you know, it makes the episodes longer, makes it more engaging and fun. So in these areas, like with the, the hat thing, it's uh, two. Two moons are going to be around here. This, I think, is actually slightly challenging. You got to, um grip the sides around there. I forget where the second moon is, actually. I am I think... I think I forget, if I'm not mistaken here. Um, unless it's somewhere I'm in totally uh, forgetting about. And we're actually close to getting... Uh, oh, jeez. Hello. Um, close to getting all 50 of them already. Uh, you won't lose your purple coins. As soon as you get the purple coins, you're good. You never have to worry about them ever again. Um, they will not like despawn. You never have to go back for them again. 
Um, but what I do recommend is, let's say you, um, like, you see a, a bit of, like, four purple coins together, and you only get two, the other two are still going to be there. Now, the thing with Mario Odyssey, there are never going to be situations where there's only one purple coin. There's always going to be at least three. Two or three. There's never going to be just one. There are always multiple purple coins wherever you are, right? So, if you find yourself like there's only one purple coin somewhere, that means you lost track of another one. Like, you should always have a multiple of two or three at your disposal, as far as I'm aware. Um, actually, I know that for a fact because I, I beat the game. So, I don't know what I'm talking about there. Um, how do I get... Ooh, I think this is where the second moon is. I think I'm just super smart. Is it right here? Is it right here? Bada boom, it's right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Lots of little things like that you got to keep in mind for. Jump, grab, and climb some more. Uh, I'm just going to advance all the way through that. I don't care about those coins. Not really. And avoid fall damage by colliding right into the moon. And the same exact moon title right there. There you go. Boom. I think it might mark it off as two in our little... Um, pamphlet here we'll take a look at that right now oh that's another screenshot i guess so let's see here um oh oh jump grab cling climb some more okay so it was different so we can take a look at the pamphlet here lake Lamode, the town both in and on the lake so that's what the main attraction is supposed to be um la 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 la, la. visit the water plaza especially if you enjoy breathing air i would hope so i like breathing air Hopefully you do too. Um, actually, yeah, we all do because we need it to survive. So why wouldn't you? All right, we'll dive over here and be fancy with it. Be fancy and get out of here. Now we activate this water plaza terrace. Normally this goes by really quickly, this kingdom in particular, but, you know, found a way to make it more enticing for you too. So this guy growing the corn. <laughs> That did a number on my voice. You're too late. We already got the lock lady dress. I guess he's Canadian. A Canadian corn grower. And it even matches with the boss's tuxedo. So no way we're giving it back now, eh? Get me some Tim Hortons. And some kindness, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. All right, so you want to hit those things. Basically, the whole gimmick of this uh, kingdom is the, uh, the heart spinny thing. So... Make sure you go for that. And Mr. Cottontail over here is going to jump over all around you. Just keep moving around. Move in a circle. As long as you keep moving, he will not be able to hit you. So keep that in mind. Um, eventually... Oh, they, he actually got one hit on me. Jeez. Haven't had... Actually, we have had a game over. But not due to an enemy boss battle yet. So that's interesting. So again, just keep on moving around. You can just move in a circle literally like this. Just move right in a circle. He will not go after you. It will be a close call, so make sure you uh, do what you can to win. Um, here we go, and this should be it right here. How does he not see you, by the way? How does he not see you? Close up on him, and bye-bye, Mr. Canadian Corn Grower. You can take your Tim Hortons and go back to uh, Maple Leaf Country, where you belong for now. Grand Moon, and what do we do? We backflip into it. There we go. And with rubber flippers in hand, or on feet... Wearing a white and blue pinstripe suit and a flotation device, we have Brutals over the lake. Boom. And now we have, I think, most of the moons for this area that we can get already. So, not much we can do more right here as of right now, you know. It's still a good time. There you go. Boom. Um, I didn't realize he has the actual mouthpiece in there. So I'm worried about those two. Let's get them. So you can notice right here, there are stairs now. So the first time you go through, there's only certain ones you can do. There are some things that are different. Um, oh, so we'll go over here. Uh, so, hey, this is Toad. So this Toad is Hint Toad. So he will show you the exact location of a moon on the map uh, as shown on the pamphlet. So um, I'm kind of blocking it with the face cam uh, when I have it activated, but you can actually buy a hint and it'll show you like a marker of where to go. So like it says right there, that's where Power Moon's going to be. So, and this guy right here is Uncle Amiibo. So if you scan in an Amiibo up to three Amiibo at a time, 
uh, you will be able to find the location of a power moon, uh, just like Hint Toad, without having to spend any coins. So if you want to save on a ton of coins, that's how you do it. I have a ton of amiibo, but I do know where most of the moons are already. Uh, Hint Toad comes in handy when I, uh, I just am feeling lazy and don't feel like looking it up online, or I just forget the location of one of them in particular, so that'll happen. I don't think... Oh, that is a moon. Jeez, okay, cool. That's easy. On the lake shore, cruising on down on Lakeshore Drive, headed into town. All right, that's from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 soundtrack for you over there. Um, oh, another thing, too, before we get out of here. We'll dive right over here. So this is Hint Art. So these will appear in the kingdom uh, eventually. They are based on other kingdoms in the game. So here... It shows that there's something different between the two right here, right? It's kind of like one of those puzzles you get when you're really young. So clearly, the bone that's on the right, the one that's closest to us, technically, that one's missing from the one on the left. So maybe there's something hidden inside of there. So you do need to look at this hint art before you go there. So if you try to go and like solve this before you actually get it, then it won't work. What you're supposed to do is take a screenshot. You can go into your photo album and uh, check that out at a later time. So uh, what we're going to do is go to what I believe is the Wooded Kingdom now. Or rather for the next episode here. So 31 moons. Where are we going? How many How many does that total now? 40, uh, let's say 44, 45, 47, 8, 47. There we go. Almost 50 moons in on this Mario Odyssey playthrough and now it's not like you choose one or the other and you continue on like you still go to both anyway so it doesn't matter what order it is but we're gonna go to the wooded kingdom next time on Super Mario Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch my name has been Brian Saviano I'll talk to lovely people next time and uh, I'm gonna go rest my voice because I can feel my voice going a little bit here so I'll, I'll talk to you next time see you later bye